names. I was going to mention Friday the 16th and 1. Uh, I've got a couple of notes here, but uh, having, those, uh, having that, that, the snacks outside kind of reminded us of uh, this week and the <laughs> 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 We had a great team, we had a great bunch of guys. We had good athletes with great attitude. And you couple that with um, a great coaching staff like John Madden, Joe Gibbs, Rod Dahauer, Sid Hall. Mario was a young graduate assistant. Kenny Madison, Dean Dawson. And then roll in the chairman of the board of Aztec football, of course, Cornell. I mean, we had fun. I think I speak for every player that ever, that, uh, our team for sure, and every player that ever played for Coach Cornell. We never had more fun in my life. All the years I played football at every level, people, you know, I tell people I've never had more fun than playing for this gentleman right here. We played for him out of respect, and Mario you hit the nail on the head. You know, and you didn't want to let him down. You know, some of the great athletes I played with, one of the finest athletes I've ever played with in my life was Jim Pike. Another great athlete, Tommy Nettles. In fact, I'll tell you a funny story. I was in Augusta, Georgia about 12 years ago, and I was there uh, on picture day, and uh, I walked up to this guy with the golf channel then. His name was Brad, uh, it was Scott Van Pelt. Yeah. And I said, hey, Scott, uh, you know, I said, I introduced myself. And I said, I'm looking for Tom Nettles. Is he around? No, he's down. He, he pulled another job. He's down on Orlando to do something else. He said, how do you know him? I said, well, I used to play ball with him. He says, wait a minute. Let me ask you a question, Don. I said, what's that? He says, is Tommy as good as he said he was? <laughs> We had a great team. Uh, the defensive philosophy, I think, uh, reflected uh, kind of what uh, my teammate, who was well deserved this honor, uh, Jeff Staggs. Our defensive philosophy, of course, for you defensive philosophy was three and out. Three and out. Three and out. Get up, get the defense, three and out. And of course, I love his offensive philosophy. That's one of the reasons why I decided to come down here. His offensive philosophy was score early and score off. <laughs> I love that philosophy. I would like to take a, a moment. I, I wanted to do it earlier. Uh, uh, in memoriam. Uh, mentioned a couple of people: uh, Don Shy, Bobby Howard, and George Engel. Uh, they're no longer with us. And uh, they were part of our our great team in '66, and of course uh, the former first lady of Aztec football, Lisa Cordell. Mm -hmm. Wish she was here to be tonight too. We miss her. Um, I want to say too that you know during the season our practices, boy we were good. We were good. We had fun, but from time to time. You know, different scouts would come out, Sid Gilman, Al Davis. We was a little short guy named Joe Nadro, remember Joe Nadro and Chargers and all those guys? And I know Al Davis mentioned to me numerous times, in 1966, San Diego State had the best football team on the West Coast at that time, and he should have been representing the West Coast in the Rose Bowl. He knew it was the but he didn't know the Rose Bowl. And even Sid Gilman said he had one of the top teams in the country. Time and time again. We were good. And it was a joy to, you know, to play here, play for this gentleman here. And I would like to mention too, as I see, to Amy and Mr. Wenzel, you know, your, your son and his father was uh, a teammate of mine, and a lot of these guys in this room in 1965 and four. He was, he was a good man. And express our love to him because he would be Miss Miss Ralph. Um, 
funny story, a couple of, I mean, you know, was, I get out here and then he was born there. I remember, I, you always made me wear the red, the red jersey, the red, uh, I had a red vest on. Didn't want to get hit. Old touch horn, old touch horn. <laughs> and uh, we had students one day, they were getting ready to play one of the big games, uh, San Jose State, or North Dakota State. And for some reason, Coach Madden turned height loose, or Hancock, or somebody came in, maybe Carl, I don't know. Carl. And knocked me, bottled or key kettle, and, and uh, Coach Coriel come running in, and, oh, don't hurt him, don't hurt him, the whole season's gone, don't, don't hurt him. And you know, they kicked me up, I'm out of here holding a helmet. And, and, then, and, then, and then Coach Coriel yells at John, don't, don't touch him. And then, Matthew says, put a dress on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We go back to the home. Coach Burrell is the first one back in our offensive home. He gets us fired up like, like no one can. We went seven or eight full-blown, all-out plays, and finally hit Coach Gibbs or Dow or somebody had to break it up. We had seven or eight all-out, 110 mile an hour plays full speed go, and after those seven or eight plays that day, we were ready for any team we were going to play that day, and we, we won, but that was great, great, great memories. And uh, you know, a lot of people say that uh, it's a different era, it's a different game, different athletes today than it was back in the uh, Coriol era, but I can't think of a better era to play football in than Don Coriol's era here at San Diego State. I'm glad we could be proud and part of it as we all are. I'd like to thank Dennis Wise, my partner, and the Wise Foundation for this great honor, well deserved. I wish every teammate of mine in this room could be Named personally, you know, in the Hall of Fame, but I'd rather have the team. It's a team sport, and this is the way it should be. I see Scooter. I see. I see. I mean, I want to go down Ambrose. And he said, "Great name." Some people I haven't seen here in over 30, 40 years. Everybody said, "How long did you play?" And uh, how long did you play? And for some of us, it's been 43 years ago. For others of us, um, 43 pounds ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here to represent the team. Great team. I'm glad I was part of it. And I never forget it. As I will say as I leave the podium here, I wish, I still love to hear this man say, Bad goal! Bad goal, guy! Bad goal! <laughs> national champions to honor us with a pleasant part of that year.